Let's have a look at the effect of price charges in the price discount agreement. So I've got a new item here. If I go and look at the trade agreements, we don't have anything set up for this item. And so you'll see there's a field here called price charges. So this is an additional charge um, that you're going to put on the item. Uh, it could be a service fee, it could be some sort of surcharge fee that you're going to charge uh, uh, not quantity based so it'll be a one time charge depending on uh, no matter how many uh, of the item the customer buys so let's go and create a new trade agreement um, and we'll put in here uh, this one's got something in it so we'll just create a uh, new one here and I'm going to go and make it, uh, in this case, a purchase price and I'm going to set it up for that item 587 and I'm going to put it for this site and warehouse and I'll make it $150 and so what I'll do here is put a $5 charge um, so that could be an ordering fee for example um, something like that as uh, um, some sort of fee that you're going to charge in addition so uh, 150 um, and there's the additional charges that we're going to include so I'm going to post this so it's posted so we'll see on the item now we've got a, a trade agreement for this item so 587 so let's go and put in the sales order and we'll have a look at the effect so I'll go into sales and marketing I'll go to all sales orders and we'll create a sales order and I'll just set it up for this site and warehouse okay so we'll key in the item and so you'll see that the price is 150 but you'll see the net amount is 155 um, that's because the additional five dollars on the charge so we can see that if we look at the line details we'll see price and discount and then we'll see that we've got a sales charge here now if I put the quantity as um, two that'll be three hundred dollars plus five so three hundred and five will be the net amount our unit price is still 150 so um, that's effectively the uh, sales price um, this one gets included it doesn't get separated out uh, on the invoice so let's go through I'm just going to go and confirm this so we'll say OK um, we're just going to pick pack and ship what we've shipped so uh, based on the packing slip I'm going to print the invoice so I'll say OK I'll just print it to the screen so we'll see this is a total of uh, 305 um, so you'll see the item so 150 uh, 305 so that could be a little confusing for people um, about what's actually included where does the extra five come from for example um, you'll see for example in the posted invoice so what's posted if we have a look at the voucher this is 305 and what's posted here is of course the 305 uh, into the um, accounts receivable and sales ac accounts 
So that's a quick walkthrough of the um, price charges um, that she can include to include a one-time fee um, on an order for a particular item uh, when you're setting up price discount 